Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. They also specialize in CGC pre-orders. And another great thing, they have no sales tax unless you live in New Jersey. Sorry guys, forget about it. But no sales tax, lots of 10, CGC Comics, popculturezone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys? Brown with Men's Comics back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday, May 24th or Sunday, May 23rd if you're DC Comics. I have some great picks this week, some I'm really excited to talk about. So I'm just going to jump right into it, starting with Image Comics, we get that Ultra Mega number four. I've been talking about this series since issue number one, talked about those later printings, talked about how small of a print run those late printing one in five variants really are here in sub 500 copies but either way ultra mega number four hit and final order cutoff i've heard people's comments right some people love this some people don't really care for it but that's what makes this hobby so great i personally enjoy it that's why i have it on here and another thing i like about this issue it has a variant cover by paul pope one of my favorite artists so that's the one i'm going to be pre-ordering Getting over to IDW, I've talked about this series a lot. Also, we get that Star Wars Adventures High Republic number five. I often say on here, yes, I do love that Marvel series. A lot of people love that Marvel series. It's a great series, but I'm still loving the IDW Adventure series a little bit more story-wise. I enjoy both of them. I pick both of them up, but I will continue to have this series in this video for sure. Issue number five, you got that regular cover as well as that one in 10 incentive variant. Getting over to Marvel, we get that Demon Days Mariko number one. Yes, I probably said that name wrong. I do that a lot. Here we get another series. Peach Momoko, probably one of the hottest artists within the past year and a half. Here we get a book that is written by Peach, as well as the art by Peach, as well as that cover A. But this book is going to have a bunch of different covers by a bunch of different great artists. You might not like Peach Momoko, that's fine. There's a J. Scott Campbell cover. You might not like J. Scott Campbell, that's fine. There's a Jim Bartell cover. You might not like Jim Bartell, that's fine. There's a David Mack cover. You might not like David Mack, that's fine. There's a bunch of other covers by a bunch of great artists as well. Like I always say, pick the one you like and get that pre-ordered, get that discount, or do it Pokemon style and collect them all. Also from Marvel, we get the Mighty Valkyries number three. I haven't talked about this series much. I don't have it so much on here for the series itself, but Marvel within this FOC, within that the, within June's release month, they are doing Spider-Man Villains variants. And I love the Villains variant for this title. It's by one of my favorite artists lately, Rian Gonzalez. She is putting out banger after banger. Talked about her art recently on win number six, win number seven variants. She's done a bunch of great store exclusives as well. Here she's doing this Villains variant. Love it from her art style. And it's also got that Street Fighter gamer type feel to it. It's got that versus character versus character. Love that. So I'm picking this one up. Speaking of Spider-Man villains, we also get Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 27. Yes, we are in the middle of that new clone saga. This issue, we get the origin of the clones. But just like the previous pick, this has a Spider-Man Villains variant by another fantastic female artist. And I'm talking about Rose Besh. Here's another one whose art's been super popular lately. She's had that incentive 1 in 25 variant everyone's going after. Here we get a Spider-Man Villains variant that is regular priced and the art is just as gorgeous. Miles Morales, super popular character if you aren't aware. <laughs> if you aren't aware, but just look at the price of Ultimate Fallout 4. Look at the PlayStation game. Look at the Spider-Verse movies. And today's generation, like we've said before, often identifies 
Miles Morales as their Spider-Man, just like I did growing up as with Peter Parker. And like I've said before, this Miles Morales series is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man series to read right now. So with that being said, it's definitely one of my favorite picks for this week. Moving over to DC Comics, we get a new Wonder Woman anthology series with Wonder Woman Black and Gold number one. This is going to be a six issue series. It's going to have a bunch of great writers writing a bunch of different stories for Wonder Woman, celebrating that 80th anniversary of Wonder Woman. And here's another issue that has three great covers going for it. And one thing I'm seeing a trend, not only in this video, but in comics in general right now is just how hot some of these female artists are. I talk about a bunch of them throughout a bunch of these videos, whether it's Jenny Frizen, whether it's Peach Momoko, whether it's Jim Bartel, we got Rose Besh, we got Rian Gonzalez. I mean, it goes on and on. Like I said, we're talking about Ultra Mega. It is just a great time to be collecting comics right now. Also from DC Comics, we get that great milestone title with that return of Static in Static Season 1, number one. This has that great regular cover by Kari Randolph. He's done a bunch of other great covers for DC, as well as the art and covers for one of my favorite image series. In excellence, a lot of people have been waiting for the return of Static. Whether it's in comic form or other multimedia, this is definitely one popular character right now. And DC is taking notice, which we get that season one, issue one. They do have an incentive one in 25 homage variant to the original Static cover. And they also are introducing what they call new school and old school bands. And then the last one I want to talk about from DC Comics. This is definitely one of my favorite series to read right now. And I am talking about Nightwing number 81. If you have not been reading Nightwing, you're missing out. Tom Taylor said it multiple times. One of the best writers in comics. I'll go on record. I'm on record right now. I've been on record with on multiple videos. How great Tom Taylor is with writing comics. He's written so many other great books. Suicide Squad, underrated. Deceased, he's writing Seven Secrets from Boom Studios. All great titles, all great writing. And if you're reading Nightwing, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Are you like me? Are you, are you enjoying it as much as I am right now? And if you're not, let me know as well. But if you haven't been picking it up, I please, please, or wait for the trade when this current Tom Taylor art comes out. It's, it's just so good. And that's going to bring us over into the indie showcase portion of this video. This portion is brought to you from Black Cape Comics, blackcapecomics.com. You can pre-order all the books talked about in this video, as well as the books in the indie showcase. Huge fans of indie comics, just like myself. And they have some great store exclusives. They just recently listed their Bunny Mask number one variant. They sold through the sets. They sold through the meta cover. They might have a few of the single issues left. So go to blackcapecomics.com get your exclusive and pre-order your books for final order cutoff. The first one I want to talk about is from Black Mask. If you aren't familiar with this publisher, a couple years ago, they were one of the hottest, hottest indie publishers. They were putting out so many great series. The problem is some of these series, they could not keep up with the release schedule. So getting a new issue in stores kind of killed the momentum of some of them, but they're still great stories nonetheless. And I think Black Mask is like not so fast, we are still here and they're coming in with God Killer Tomorrow's Ashes number one. Now the solicit sounds great, but the covers alone, if you see this on the store rack on release day, you might not, you might not get a chance to see it as a matter of fact, because I don't know how many stores are going to order these books. That's the point of this video to let you know these books exist so you can get your pre-orders in, let your LCS know and guarantee yourself a copy. I mean, we're talking about a devious tale of sci-fi magic, apocalyptic sex, and submersive mind bombs. I mean, that tells you me, that tells me it's a crazy ass story. But as I said at the beginning, the covers on these are amazing. Cover A, gorgeous. But then there's also an incentive one in 15 and an incentive one in 30. All three of them, bangers. And this isn't the first black mask book in a while. Even the last FOC, they had that new series, White, which goes with the previous series, Black, Head FOC. So Black Mask has been putting out books, but this is one that definitely caught my eye, which I think will catch a lot of other people's eyes as well. I just hope you catch it before it releases and people are picking it up. And the last one I want to talk about in this showcase is from Scout Comics. Scout Comics also distributed by Lunar. So their FOC is Sunday as well. And we are talking about Claire and the Dragons number one. If you're a fan of fantasy comics, I think this might fall in line with what, with what you like. 
definitely piques my interest and looks to have a great female protagonist. But there's one other thing that really, really caught my eye. It's got a Dr. Seuss homage variant for it, which is another hot trend. Dr. Seuss has been in the news, but once Ice Cream Man did those Dr. Seuss homage variants, a lot of people took notice. Clan the Dragons number one might be one worth picking up. And I'm sure if you do like Scout Comics and you're interested in this title, I'm sure their website also probably has a web exclusive. This is also following the trend that Scout does where they release the issue number one, but then they also release the rest of the issues in a trade paperback where they give you that collectible on issue one, and then you can read the whole thing in one binging digestible chunk within that trade paperback. That's gonna wrap the indie showcase. But like last week, I talked about two trade paperbacks with Kanto and Something is Killed in the Children volume three. I don't have a trade paperback to talk about this week, but I do have something a little bit different. And we're talking about magazines with Star Wars Insider number 203. Star Wars Insider has been a popular magazine. Heck, everything Star Wars has been popular right now. People love these covers. Once again, it is a magazine, so it's bigger than your regular comic. So if you don't like, hey, I don't want the bigger bag and board. Some people are like that. I tend to be like that, but not with this. Star Wars Insider. And another great thing, just for FOC, they added an FOC cover. It's one of people's favorite Star Wars character right now. And we're talking about Ahsoka. And it and it's also one other thing. Does your LCS normally carry it? Does your comic book store normally carry this? Does where you normally buy your magazines or periodicals, do they carry this? They may or may not. That's the point of this video, to let you guys know and to let your stores know that you want it. Then lastly, as I always talk about in this video, we have some great additional or later printings, starting with Image Comics. We get Geiger number one hitting a fourth print, that great Jeff Johns creator-owned goodness. We also get Geiger number two hitting a second print. Keeping with Image, we get Good Asian number one getting a second print. Ice Cream Man, we talked about Ice Cream Man a little bit earlier with the Dr. Seuss homage. This isn't a Dr. Seuss homage, but Ice Cream Man number 24 is also getting a second print. Radiant Black number four is getting a second print. Time Before Time number one is getting a second print. Getting over to Boom, we get Berserker number two getting a third print. And then that great indie comic publisher, Behemoth Comics, you Promised Me Darkness, number one, getting a third print as well. One thing to keep notice is when number one got a second print and hit FOC, they actually pushed it back. So that's something to pay attention to. But as of right now, issue number one, third print is on FOC for this Monday. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks. The Indie Showcase, that great Star Wars magazine, as well as those, as well as those additional prints that are heading FOC this coming Monday or Sunday night. Get your pre-orders in, get your discount. And with that being said, guys, this is Brian with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video.